Hey guys, it's Kay Jones here. Um, it is like one in the morning and this just hit me guys. I was really thinking about this and I want to do a video on it because I feel like it will help a lot of people. So this uh, video is going to be on four ways to save a friendship and relationship. And all these four way things are going to kind of tie into one big thing. So, uh, Anyway, I'm going to basically say a couple of disclaimers, and one is I'm not a professional, I'm not a psychologist or anything. Two, this is just my opinion, it's not fact or anything like that, and you have to take everything what I say with a grain of salt, but hopefully in the end it'll help you. And three, um, you know, at the end of the day, things in life may not always go the way you plan it. We can't control other people. Um, humans are such tough creatures to understand and you know things may not work out and I'm really sorry about that but like the thing I think with people and relationships and friendships is that there's three kinds of relationships and friendships all right there's season people are there for a season a reason or a lifetime so you're gonna have one of those your friendship or relationships gonna be in one of those three season reason or lifetime so my friend uh, my best friend calls me her Rafiki and I'm hoping that I can give that back to the world and help others so that's why I'm doing this video but anyway the four reasons I'm just gonna go over a broad overview I just hit my funny bone ouch <laughs> is gonna be communication to be mature to be humble, sit down, it's from a song, and to be the better person. So I'm going to go all in depth. Let's first start with communication. Um, so whatever problem you're having um, with your friendship or relationship, I'm just going to say relationship, whether it's romantic or not, um, you need to realize that how you communicate the problem or how you communicate to fix the problem is extremely important. You know, your tone, how you say it, what you say is so important. And it needs to be in person. Now, if you have a situation where you cannot communicate in person, Skype is going to be your best option. Face to face. It is easier to say mean, harsh things that you don't mean over the phone or text than it is to their face. So that's extremely important. And you're also more forgiving when you can actually see the person you're talking to. Um, so that's extremely important. And another thing is words are like toothpaste. This is really weird, but any whenever you push that toothpaste out of the bottle, it's extremely hard to put it back in. And it will take time to put that toothpaste all back in the bottle, and some of it will not all return to the bottle. You know, you have to be extremely careful with what you say, and especially if you are a certain personality type where you think before you speak, that can be a huge issue. So when you try to communicate with people, be extremely careful and think twice what you're about to say. Write it down or think about it before you call them. Expect them to get angry. Expect them to have a comeback. And you need to stay calm. Realize that you cannot control that other person. And no matter what, you're doing your best to fix the relationship. But at the end of the day, getting mad at them, getting upset is not going to help your issue. You may not agree with them. You may be hurt. You may be sad. Communicate that in a very calm manner. Hey, I'm hurt. You hurt me. I just want to discuss this and I really want things to work between us. But there's a couple things that we got to talk about and they may get mad and defend themselves. It is human nature to defend ourselves. And that goes with the second one is to be mature. So being mature is when you call them, you know, uh, just be real careful. That goes along with the communication. It's really think about it and don't be childish don't call them names okay calling people names just makes you sound unintelligent and like a jerk so be really careful there it's really easy to do that um, especially when you're really the closer you are with someone the more likely you are to call them names because you think they're going to be more forgiving does that make sense? It's like the closer you are to people, the more likely you're going to have arguments. It's like your family members, you know. So be mature and think twice. Don't don't start doing things that are just childish, you know. And that goes along with how you communicate. The, this is all going to tie in together. And the third one is be humble. Sit down. It's from a song. I don't know what song it is. But basically, at the end of the day, if you're in the wrong, and you know you, if you're in the wrong or right, be able to tell the other person hey, I'm sorry, you're right and I'm wrong. 
That is so hard for humans to do. Guys, it, it's our it's our by nature to defend ourselves. That's what we do, you know, that's our nature. So to tell someone, hey, you're right, I'm wrong, I messed up, is extremely hard. And it takes a lot of maturity to do that. And that's why the third one kind of ties in with the second and the first. Um, if you are in the right and you know you are, you need to just kind of, you can't force someone to apologize to you. You can't force them to to feel sorry. Some people just aren't good friends, and you've got to drop them from your life. Like I said, season, reason, and lifetime. But uh, also think about it from their perspective. There's always two sides to the story, and you have to be mature and kind of be vicarious and realize, okay, what are they thinking? Let me try to think about their perspective and how they saw it versus how I saw it. And let me make sure that I understand the other side. And the last thing, the fourth one, is to be the better person. It is so hard when someone has hurt you or when someone has said something behind your back or they, anything like that. It is so hard to be the better person. But I'm telling you, if you communicate and you're mature and you're the better person overall, I'm telling you what, guys, it's going to go better for you. I don't know if I believe in karma, but truly... You know, if that person's not good for you, it's best they're out of your life anyway. And if they're worth fighting for, really, I always believe in fighting for love, by the way. Always believe in fighting for love. But also realize that that person may not be good for you and they're unhealthy for you. And after you've tried to replenish and save your friendship or relationship, step back and really think, is it worth it? And that's really hard to think about. Is this person worth fighting for? And are they healthy for me? Okay. And I believe anything can be fixed. Anything besides things that cross a line. Once they cross this threshold, you know, it's just like there's no turning back. You've been hurt so much or whatever. But anything before passes that line, depending on your morality, anything can be fixed, guys. Just a lot of tender love and care, TLC or whatever it is. Anyway, this isn't going to be too long of a video. I just wanted to put this out there because I know a lot of people go through it. I think it's hilarious. It's like 1 in the morning and I'm doing this. And it just, it just hit me, you know. A lot of these IRL videos are not planned just to put videos on my channels. It's because I sincerely put thought into it and want to help people. So if you like this video, give a thumbs up and give subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of gaming content. If you're not interested in that, don't worry about it. But also, if you do subscribe, make sure you put that little notification bell on. It lets you know when I post videos and things like that so you can keep updated. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, because I like to see the likes versus dislikes, and I love comments, hearing your insights, or anything like that. So thanks, guys, for watching.